What's poppin' with it? It's your boy, Belax, back with uh, Verse of the Month. Uh, and here, we're here with, uh, I believe this is the May interview. Uh, and, you know, it's a very special interview because, you know, it's probably the best verse ever seen in a Verse of the Month. It's Mir Blackwell with Rain Dash Bucket. Bucket! Pull up with that Rain Dash Bucket! Yeah. I'ma get your days, that's fuck that's mine! I'ma get your chase, that's fuck me there! Hold up, wait, when we say, like, the best verse to win versus the month. Do you mean like up until May, or can we count the winners that have already it won? Because I know who won. Right? Best. Are, 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 are we in a, are we in a time loop? Are we in a time loop right now where I gotta say it's May still? No. Or can I let them know that it's November? You can let them know it's November. They know it's, All right, not it's May. November. <laughs> they know it's <laughs> Look, it's November, and it's definitely been better verses that have won since then. Now, the will be in May. I could have made a case of this being the hottest winner, but spoiler alert, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert, this is not the way you saw you going to see me. It's November. I didn't had a lot of music drops since then. But it's your boy. Y'all already know. Young man Blackwell. Do Red got work us in the army in this bitch. How y'all doing today? God damn, what an inter what an introduction. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, so uh obviously rain dash bucket is in itself an inside reference so go ahead and explain what the reference is for those who are okay not in the all right loop. all right y'all not in the loop i'm gonna let y'all know back in may may 2nd to be exact um uh, area ways dropped this project and uh, one of the singles off the project double iron bash has a has a beat switch where area ways hits us with the fuck it rain dish i'm a walking bucket right you know Hope on bars. This nigga Charles, you know, big fan of Area Ways. He likes rapping the song. So one day he's in car and he hits us with the ultimate quote. Instead of rain ditch, I'm a walking bucket, he just hits us with the rain dash bucket. And I'm like, what the fuck is a rain dash bucket? What the fuck is a rain dash bucket? <laughs> so 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 me, Dylan, it's me, Dylan, Ace and Chubb. And I'm like, yo, Dylan. If you just take the you take the double iron badge beat, which is the A song, and then you take it, you take the fast part, and then you slow it down to the part where it's still it's still faster than the slow part. So it's like right in this mid area, and you distort the shit out that beat. We got a whole new song. That the next day, that nigga sent me a verse. I said it's time. I was like it's time. I was like it's time. But I wrote half of my verse at my job the day he sent me his verse. He was just writing the group chat. It was me, Chubbs, and Ace was just like, damn, he going crazy. But that song took like a week for four verses to come in. Now, if y'all know anything, y'all know Chubbs takes seven months for a verse. It's true. That shit came back. Well, Chubbs almost beat me to having the verse out because I had to work. <laughs> like, that's how fast these verses was coming in. Shit was flying. Niggas was flying off the rails with these verses. And then, and then for a while, Ham Sandwich like he wasn't gonna put it out for us. He was like, "No, nah, bro, we gotta keep this in the vault." But then, but then we, we convinced him. Had to be convincing. I called in a couple hitmen, you know. But the song's out now. The song is out. The song is out. The song bang. Uh, so go ahead and hit me with the favorite bars, or maybe one singular bar, because we all know one of the bars. Okay, everyone know the greatest bar. <clears throat> They asking who got more hits than the boy. What about Pitbull? Pitbull? Pitbull has a lot of hits. Pitbull got a lot of hits. <laughs> and then it's over. Because y'all don't even know. This nigga Chubbs. See, Chubbs is a meme machine. He just endlessly spouts out meme worthy content. So, we're going to take you back again. Okay? Back <laughs> even further. You got to take you further for this one. <laughs> Young Blackwell likes using Twitch, right? And one of his favorite people to watch on Twitch is Shofu. You know, twitch.tv slash Shofu. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to promote him on this. But so I click into this joint. Every now and again, I, I click in to see what's happening. I pop in and these niggas are discussing hit battles, right? You know, back when everybody was like, oh, who would be who and who would be who? So they're talking about Neo versus Chris Brown in a hit battle and who would win, right? Just, you know, it, it, it's, a, I, nah, it's just a fairly even battle. You know, these guys, it's a hard competition. Who you got winning Neo, Chris Brown? And Matt Hughes to talk about, you know, Neo wrote some of Chris Brown's shit for him too. So it's a, it's a they getting, they really, they really going in with this joint. And then from the depths and the darkness of the back of the room, this nigga Chubbs hit us with the ultimate quote. What about Pitbull? Pitbull got a lot of hits. And I'm just like, it's no way. It's no way you put Chris Brown, Neo, and then throw Pitbull into the mix. Like he got to stand the chance against these niggas. It was actually insane. That shit 
Bro, I'm telling you, I had been in the stream for 30 seconds. Like, the, the entire clip was just me walking into the stream. Like, I had just got there, and I was like, there's no way he dropped a quarter on me like this. I instantly, I, I'm i talking frame one clip that shit. I was like, Chubbs, you're a fucking fool. <laughs> you're a damn fool, Chubbs. I, I cannot believe that you said this. Bro, and I, bro, life has never been the same since. <laughs> since that day, I've been a new man. I know about the endless hits of Pitbull. Since that day, Chubbs has been Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide Chubbs himself. Chubbs kind of looked like like Pitbull with Direct TV anyway. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> Chubbs. Um, I'm Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, and I have cable. And Chubbs is like, my name is Chubbs, and I have Direct TV. <laughs> like, damn, Chubbs. Why are you so short? It's because the cable box is so low to the ground. It's okay. I just can't believe I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Chubbs. I'm about to end the interview right here. Why are you doing it's this, Chubbs? <laughs> bro, all you need, bro. This is about to be. Look, look. I got a couple other bars I like. Um, my verse is full with inside jokes. Because the song is an inside joke kind of song, I threw in a couple lines, like, uh, uh, these niggas tripping, but I don't got time, so I'm feeling like Kai V. These niggas tripping, but I don't got time, so I'm feeling like Kai V. Which is a reference to Kai V, who was supposed to go on the trip with uh, Jackson to Paris, but not doing the ad lib, fuck Jackson, because it's fuck Jackson, until the day I die. Uh, we have uh, these niggas running their mouth and need to go mute like Kai V. These niggas running their mouth and they need to stop talking like Kai V. Right, Kai V doesn't talk much. For the first like six months that we knew Kai V, she literally was muted the entire time at VC. Then I have a similar bar about mystery. These niggas when they name off and they need to go mute like they mystery. Shut up, bitch. Who is an actual mute. Like, doesn't speak anytime ever. But now Kai V talks, I, I don't know. I feel like the bar a little bit. It, it still works because Kai V only talks like 20% of the time. So it was like 80% of the time she stops talking, so it's perfect. And then it's still fuck Dylan to the K7 diss track come out to this day, bro. To this day, I'm waiting for K7 to drop this diss track on Dylan. So fuck Dylan. Was that your stream or was it in Breeden's stream? That, that, that was in Breeden's stream. That was in the greatest Breeden's stream ever, bro. It was so much happening that day. I don't know. But was, that might have been the same day we got the him trying to spaz out on me from saying Rick better than him in Smash Bros. <laughs> he was so mad. He was so upset that Isaiah Rick was better than him in Smash Bros. And Rick earthed the shit out of that nigga. Shout out Rick, a winning catch game too. That's my dog. That's my boy Crocodile. And uh, shout out to my nigga. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need you to censor this. Shout out my nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I, I referenced him too. I referenced uh, when I said that nigga DDD D a problem. Fuck out of here, dickhead. That nigga DDD D a problem. <laughs> That's a reference to the uh, fuck, uh, fix the potholes, fix the potholes in the streets. I, I gotta just, I gotta just mute that entire <laughs> bit. That entire bit's gone. That's crazy. You can leave part of it in. No, so they know what I was talking about. In. That's insane. All right, we got any more questions about this song? Cause I can just rant about this song forever. This song is one of my favorites. I like this song a lot. No, this this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got enough. <laughs> well, this is look. We speed round in these interviews, man. My name is Blackwell. That nigga named Black. We gonna keep on thriving. I'll holler at y'all the next interview. Peace. Peace out.